BYD or Build Your Dreams. That's a car brand that's really taking the world by storm. In India, we recently got the World Car of the Year runner-up, the BYD Seal. It joined the Atto 3 compact crossover and E6 MPV. And while it is still early days for BYD in India, here's a car that's under consideration as a probable next model, the BYD Seal U. The pure EV version of this car is called the Song Plus in some markets, though of course it goes by the Seal U in most others. Could this then be that next big model from BYD for India? In terms of shape, size, design and features, it certainly seems to be pretty ripe for the picking. Yep, we sure love SUVs, don't we? So how do you like this one? The Song Plus DMI is originally part of the Dynasty series, but with its facelift and electrification, plus that rebadging as Seal U in some markets, it's acquired some traits of the Ocean series. So it has a proper grille masked to now accommodate EV looks. The big muscular haunches and smooth flowing lines and its 19-inch alloys do give the car some presence. The full-width light bar at the rear gives it a modern stance and makes it look more like the BYD cars that you know. Now this cabin is pretty well appointed I have to say, nice good quality materials, it's a comfortable seat, you've got this big sunroof and you've got the dual screen layout, virtual cluster and this screen which we all know can do this. All of this is familiar because some of it you've seen on the Seal sedan and yet I have to say while all of this was also expected, the thing I found as a little surprise hidden away inside the menu. Let me show it to you. Go into system settings, there's vehicle settings and then there's system settings and go to more and inside language, I can change to Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Korean, German, Italian and then look at that. So there you can see all the apps have gone, well almost all of them have gone Hindi. Apple CarPlay stays in English, Spotify stays in English, but everything else, setting, smart charging, look at that, on kare, off kare, it's all in Hindi. And does that mean that this system is ready for Hindi or does that mean this car is ready for India? Maybe it's too much of a leap of faith, but hey, it doesn't hurt to build your dream. Okay, corny one-liners aside, it's the system that's in Hindi, but could be a little clue that the car is also ready for India. Can't help but wonder. Now, it'll be great to see both the Hindi language and the CLU making their way to India, right? And what's more, given the policy uncertainty in India right now, BYD will do well to keep both the hybrid and the EV variant up its sleeve with this model. The electric version has two variants, which both use BYD's famous blade battery. The 71.8 kWh has a range of 520 km, while the bigger 87 kWh battery gives you 605. Both variants here get front-wheel drive only and have an identical power output too. Charging times aren't too bad either, around 45 minutes to charge from 10 to 80% with a 115 kW DC charger. Now let's talk about the plug-in hybrid that I have. Powering the CLU DMI is a 1.5-litre turbo petrol engine and a plug-in hybrid system that uses an 18.3 kilowatt LFP blade battery and two permanent synchronous electric motors, one at each axle. And so that means it has all-wheel drive. There's a lower variant with a naturally aspirated petrol engine, front-wheel drive and two battery options. The CLU drives well enough while it's not immediately impressive as its sedan namesake, the U has decent dynamics, is quick enough 
and manages its minimal body roll quite well. The car does feel a bit exaggeratedly tall and a suspension retune would be needed for India to maximize comfort. Ergonomics and ride comfort are good on the whole though. Then there's the safety aspect of the car that you have to consider. Euro NCAP awarded 5 stars to the electric BYD Seal U. Safety features include multiple airbags, a whole range of level 2 ADAS functionality and all of that is quite a lot like the Seal sedan that I showed you some months back. So are you interested in the Seal U? It's under consideration but BYD has not given us a formal green light on this model just yet. So your comments become all the more interesting and necessary.